Hello, in this video, let us solve this problem. A person moved from A to B on a circular path as shown in figure. If the distance travelled by him is 60 meter, then the magnitude of displacement would be cos 135 is equal to minus 0 0.7. This question was asked in JEE main July 25th. 2022 shift 1 physics. This is the diagram given and four options are given. Option A 42 meter that is displacement. Option B 47 meter. Option C 19 meter. Option D 40 meter. So only magnitude is asked okay magnitude of displacement okay. Now before we go to do this problem we should know what is the distance in the picture. The arc AB is the distance. Yes, you call it as yes. And yes is the arc length that also represents distance. And uh, you can consider the central angle to be 135 degree which is theta. So theta is 135 degree and OA and OB they are all radii of the circle, same radius. So OA is equal to OB is equal to R, the radius of the circular path. And uh, before we use the formula theta is equal to s by r, we need the radius to do this problem. We require the radius. Okay, For that, we are going to use theta is equal to s by r, r is radius. For that, theta should be in radian measure. So convert 135 degrees into radians. We know that pi radian is equal to 180 degree or 180 degree is equal to pi radian then 135 degree is equal to how many radian? You can, these are the radius, OA is a radius, OB is a radius. We know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So 135 degree is equal to pi by 180 into 135. Uh, you can simplify this 135 and 180, you have 9 as a common factor. Okay. So 15 dividing by 9, you get 15. Denominator 180, you divide by 9, you will get 20. Again, 15 and 20, you can cancel by 5. So, you get 3 and you get 4 here in the denominator side. So, 3 pi by 4 radian. So, what is the conclusion? 135 degree is equal to 3 pi by 4 radian. So, we got theta equal to s by r, r is equal to s by theta. So, r we want S yes is given as 60 meter. Theta we already found 3 pi by 4. So you can see here this is 60, this is 3. Of course, if you want, you can cancel this. No, you will get 20. That's why it has been written here 80 by pi. So we got the radius value to be 80 by pi meter. Meter, right? That is r is equal to 80 by pi. Here it is only discussing about magnitude of displacement. So magnitude of displacement. Though displacement is a vector because he is asking about only magnitude. We can take it as a geometric case and we proceed. Okay. For that we will use what is known as law of cosines law of cosines. You consider the triangle ABC as shown here, triangle ABC as shown here with sides ABC, lower case letters BC. The side opposite to the angle A is A, the side opposite to the angle B is B, side opposite to the angle C is C. These are the angles. Now the law of cosine says a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Also, b squared is equal to c squared plus a squared minus 2ca cos b. And c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. That means, if you know this, if you know this, then cyclic changes. That's all. You will get the other things. 
So we can use this law of cosines to solve this problem. Uh, many people are using law of sines to solve this problem. Of course, you can use it, but it is better to use law of cosines because he has given cos of 135 degree as minus 0 0.7. He has not given sine 135 degree values. So the you will have to then write more steps for that. So it's better you take directly the formula which involves the cos of the angle. Okay, so given diagram is this redrawn like this, and arc AB is distance, and AB is the displacement. Okay, here AB directed from A to B. Don't forget displacement is a vector. Here it is directed from A to B. Of course, we are going to use the concept of magnitude of displacement only. Okay, so you consider this OA as A displacement is AB of course which is a vector it is better you take this say OB as A OA as B of course A equal to B equal to R and the displacement is C ok displacement is a vector but I have just shown them as geometric quantity so I did not put any arrows above it ok so A, B and C are the sides of the triangle O, uh, AB here I am going to use law of cosines here. Okay, right. So applying law of cosines, a equal to b equal to r. Applying law of cosines, c squared is equal to r squared plus r squared minus two r squared cos 135 degrees. That is, a is equal to r. B is also equal to r. Two a b means two r squared. C is 135 degrees. Of course, it is given here point to uh, the, the center as given as O, but does not matter you call the side A B as C. Okay. C squared is equal to R squared plus R squared minus 2 R squared cos 135 degree. R squared plus R squared is 2 R squared minus 2 R squared cos 135 degree. Uh, because you have 2 R squared here, 2 R squared here, okay, you can take 2 R squared common. 2R squared common. This is C square, okay. You don't forget that. You know the value of R 80 by pi as they shown here. Substitute. R squared is 80 by pi the whole square or 80 squared by pi square into 1 minus cos 35. Sorry, 1 plus 0 0.7 because cos 135 is given as minus 0 0.7. So, 1 minus of minus 0 0.7 is 1 plus 0 0.7. Okay. But we want C. So, taking square root eighty squared by pi square take square root means 80 by pi 1 plus 0 0.7 is 1.7 multiply by 2 3.4 take square root because on the left we have C you evaluate this you will get 47 meter so the answer is 47 meter okay thank you